What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. We're here today at the 2014 Maryland State Championships with Steve Kuklo. We saw Steve in Texas about three weeks ago, and I saw him at the gym. I was like, hey, if you're going to be out there, you know, can you come on the channel? And he said, yeah. And then I got in, and he was like, hey, I saw your video that you made about me in Brazil. <laughs> like, pretty cool, right? So, Steve, the question I want to ask you in true BioS3 style is, you have the career as the firefighter, medic, stuff like that. Now, you're doing well in bodybuilding. You have all along. I mean, you had the physique, had the look and stuff like that. A lot of guys don't have that. So they'll, they put all their eggs in one basket. If you weren't doing that well as you were now, having the career you had, do you feel like you would put as much into it still? This is on the spot. See, I didn't have time to prep this. So. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm all about being on the spot. You know, I'm all about a balance, and I guess I've created a good balance between the two. And being able to focus as much time as I do. You know, I, working for the fire department does allow me a lot of time to be able to focus on bodybuilding and be able to travel to shows. And if I need to swap days with guys and stuff like that, you know, I got great officers that help me and work with me on that. Right. So that that really, that helps me pursue my dream ultimately in bodybuilding. And, you know, as I continue to, to rise in, in the sport and continue to do better and eventually hopefully, you know, top three and, and maybe Mr. Olympia one day, that's, that's the, the goal. Um, you know, we'll see when that time comes where the other job, I think they do, where they where they sit. But right now, you know, I gotta still have the balance, and, and I really enjoy, you know, still working as a firefighter medic in Dallas. So if you were, let's say you you weren't a firefighter anymore, mm -hmm. you would you think okay, it would obviously still be doing bodybuilding? I mean, it would be oh yeah, like it's something that you love so much, and no matter what, even if you were placing, you know, tenth at a, mm -hmm. a mid tier show, you would still continue doing and still putting all that effort into, or yeah. I mean, what you have to do to get to the level you're at now, people don't right. understand. As you get better and better, it doesn't get easier. It gets harder it gets as harder. the levels you go up. It gets harder. You got to eat more. You have to train harder because you know. I mean, when you're in the early stages, your body is just a growing machine. Right. And whatever you do, whatever you throw in it, it's gonna work. You know, so you constantly are batting variables and different things. But for me, um, you know, I'm I'm a persistent, hardworking person regardless of, of where I am. I mean, I worked my way up in, in the national level. You know, it's one of those things. If I didn't turn pro in the first two years, you know, I didn't quit. Right. I just I kept plugging away. You know, I went from like sixth to tenth to third to fourth to first, you know, it wasn't one of those things where it shot straight to the first. Shot straight, you know, it wasn't like first or second, first year out. So um, I'm, I'm a persistent person, uh, you know, I'm not one that gives up. You know, I, I tell people all the time, if you got a dream, you know, follow it, work hard and, and never give up. I mean, because you pour your heart into it, I mean, you could do it. You know, I'm the type of person, if the, the sky's the limit, you know, if I put everything in, into it, you know, so. Now, did you get discouraged when you went back in places? Or did you say, okay, I know what this is, I missed You do get a little bit discouraged, down. you know, which you, you kind of have to reevaluate. You see where, where you can make improvements because you can always make improvements and nobody's perfect in bodybuilding. So, um, you know, it may not be your day. Make somebody maybe better than you. But, you, you know, I always feel that if I'm able to bring my best to the stage, nobody would be able, you know, to, to hang with me that day. So, you know, you got to have confidence but not be too confident. Right. So I was actually with Sean Ray last night and he spoke about the flight on the way over from Brazil back home, mm -hmm. and he said that he was, you know, as tired as Steve was, as depleted as he was, he just competed. He said when they asked for medical personnel on the plane, you popped up immediately. Was there any like, is it automatic because that's what you do for a job? Like you hear that, and all of a sudden a switch flips on, or a little bit. You know, it's kind of in your blood. It's kind of like um, I, I can't compare it, I guess, but it's just it is an A to me. It is something that just comes naturally. And you know, when I was asked, you know, when they said. You know, if anybody medically trained, uh, doctors, e EMTs, whatever, there, you know, I felt that I could offer my services. And, and when the, the flight attendant came and grabbed me the second time when the, when the lady passed, it was, uh, you know, it, it is hard to kind of go off of relaxation, right. you know, competing mode, right into like, shit, I got to save this woman's life. I got to do everything I can. Um, but I did it, and, and it probably was one of the more traumatic, harder events I had to ever deal with in my career. Because, you know, when I'm at work, I could put a mindset in of, you know, okay, I'm expected to see something bad. I'm, ex you know, I got my guys with me. I have my equipment. I, I know my surroundings. So this was definitely a, a little bit traumatic for me. Not um, so, it, and it took some time to kind of not not necessarily get over it, but was just like, like um, to, just to, kind of kind of process the process it all of and what happened. And, and uh, but overall, I mean, I did everything I could, and, and you know, I do it again in a heartbeat. It wasn't. It was not like, hey, I'm looking for notoriety or this. It's like, you know, I. I I did everything I could, so and everybody that was there on that plane, I mean, it was a traumatic event. So, well, Steve, you're one of the better and nicer guys in the sport. You carry yourself as a champion. Terry and I are both big fans of yours. Thank you. We wish you all the best and thank you for coming on. I want to say what's up to Dan Newmeyer because actually we reported wrong. <laughs> gooey, that. gooey, it's gooey because we reported that it was Jeff DeWill training and. 
Plano, but it was actually Gooey. So what's up, Gooey? <laughs> so, thanks a lot, Steve. Appreciate Thank you, it, man. Appreciate you guys. Bye, I was here. I approved this message, and we're out. <laughs>